You are my friend. I never knew it till then. My friend, my friend. Lord, I just want to hold your hand because I see your face whenever you're near. Hey, people. Mm hmm. Thank you for being a friend. Travel around the world and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. How y'all doing? Hi, Princess A. Sharon Morrison. Torre in uh, New York City. I hope I'm spending right now, Torre. It's not to Tori. It's Torre, I think. Okay, hi, Prima Wanda. God before everything, you know it. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Danielle. I am Mrs. Red and TLC in three, Frazier Laurie. Y'all friends. Why? Because y'all come over here every day. That's a friend, right? So there are certain people on YouTube who con continually saying there are no friends on YouTube. And I want to talk about it. I was on a panel last night conducted by uh, S. Hutchinson. The subject came up, but there was only really a moment to talk about it. And it sparked uh, uh, an idea that it's something I would like to discuss. Of course, I'm not discussing it because there's only one voice, but I'll certainly give commentary on it. So not the notion of a friend. Now, why do these people continually say, there are no friends on YouTube. There ain't no friends on YouTube. To me, that is asinine. It just don't make any sense. Uh, we have the example of Mark Zuckerberg, who was a college student at Harvard, who came up with the idea that people not only had friends, but they should share friends, right? Born So was born the idea of, of online friendships, right? If you go to, to uh, Facebook today, their language is, you click on my page, therefore you are a friend of mine, right? Now, Mark Zuckerberg has become one of the richest men in the world with his notion of friendship, right? These people on YouTube, they have accumulated 6,000 subscribers and now they're gonna determine uh, what a friend is. So I want to talk about this a little bit, but first I want to give you uh, the def definition as defined by the uh, the dictionary. Is this Webster? Whichever one this is. Dictionary.com says, friend, a person attached to another by feelings of affection or personal regard. In other words, you like them. Uh, definition two, a person who gives assistance, a Patreon, a supporter, right? A patron, a supporter, right? So that means that you guys who I'm talking to right now, by definition of the dictionary, you are my friends. Why? Because you are a patron or a supporter. The example given is friends of the Boston Symphony. Why? Because you all have something in common. You like the symphony. So you are a friend of the Boston Symphony. Definition three, a person who is on good terms with another, a person who is not hostile. Okay. That would mean if you're getting along with someone, you enjoy their content, they enjoy your content, you're not trying to insult or humiliate them in any way, that would be your friend, your YouTube friend, right? Now, this is interesting. Uh, they have one more. They say, for a member of the same nation, party, etc. cetera, right? You can be a friend just by being an American. We have that in common. We are Americans. When it comes time to fight, we are Americans. 
or a party. So they would say that uh, Republicans are friends, right? They have common goals and they, uh, they share uh, common beliefs. Democrats, it says a member of the same nation, party, etc. Then it says, see more. Let's see if there are any more definitions. Okay, they give us two more. A member of the Society of Friends, a Quaker. Okay, the religious practices of Friends are founded in direction and uh, in direct communion with God. Okay, so they're saying all Quakers are Friends. Okay, uh, and the last one they give is six: a person associated with another as a contact on a social media website. We've never met, but we are Facebook friends. Now they saved that one to the last. So this would apply also to YouTube because YouTube is also a social network. It says, number six, a person associated with another as a contact on a social media website. We've, the example being, we've never met, but we are Facebook friends. Just for clarity's sake, people. Uh, now I want to talk about it. So I don't know why these people have this negative and this cynical idea. There are no friends on YouTube. There ain't no friends on YouTube. There ain't no friends. I'm saying you don't have any friends on YouTube and probably anywhere else, right? Because when you're not a sincere person, when you're a person who's only doing a thing to get money from people, then there's a good chance that you are not anyone's friend. In other words, you will throw anybody under the bus. You will do anything to anybody, including them flushing them from your channel for a price. Right? If you and this person did a crime together, you have no friends. You will throw their ass up under the bus to save your own ass. Anyway, I would suggest that Zuckerberg's idea spread like wildfire across the whole globe. The notion of having YouTube uh, internet friends. Isn't YouTube an uh, 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 internet application? Right? So I think the point I was trying to make last night was I have several friends on YouTube. I have several friends on Facebook. In fact, Facebook are counted in the thousands. You can have Twitter friends. See, technology is moves us to a place where we're in all these different places, right? But not only just on social media, you can have friends at work. You can say, you know what? I work with Miss Benny for 25 years. We work side by side. That is my friend. Something goes on in the office, I go and talk to her, right? We want to gossip. We gossip with each other about what's going on at the office. But Miss Benny has never been to my house. I have never been to Miss Benny's house. I don't know her kids. She don't know my kids. We have talked about things because we are friends on the job. I have a friend. I'm not an, I'm not an adversary to everybody on the job. I'm not an adversary to everyone on YouTube. I'm not an adversary of any of the other applications. I have friends in these different places, right? The definition gave the example of if you're just a part of something, right? You play basketball with the boys every Saturday, right? Those are your friends on the court. You ain't got to know nothing else about them outside of the court. It comes to the defining what a friend is. <clears throat> Listen, people. We are not children. We don't go out in the play yard and have our little play friends. That's where the word, you know, you first get the word. You got to go to school, baby, so you can make some friends. Make some friends. People who go to the same school as you that you get along with, right? But as adults, I would imagine that this is, uh, 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 this phase through the background because your family then become your friends. When I came to California, I had all but abandoned my, my natural family and I found new family in California. Who were these people? They were my friends, people I got along with, people I, I wanted to get along with, but that's not the only kind of friend you can have. 
right? You in your whole lifetime, you may only meet three or four people that you've been friends with for years and years and decades, right? But that's not the only kind of friend you can have. You can have all kinds of friends, huh? So I think it's wrong. I think it's negative, it is cynical, and it is an excuse to treat people badly. By saying they are not your friend, that means that they you have no uh, responsibility to respect them. No expectation. And this gets back to why you have no respect for other people. You think everybody's an adversary and a means for you to get money. <clears throat> So if you need to argue with somebody, you just go argue with them, not because of how you feel about the person, but just because you can get money from it. Uh, the certain person, I know y'all know who I'm talking about. They came on saying that they were uh, beefing for dollars. The whole concept is crazy. I'm going to come and fight with you so I can get money from it. I don't have a problem with your actuality. I just want to do it for dollars. <clears throat> anyway, people, th these are my, th my thoughts. My thought is, yes, you can have friends on YouTube. Yes, if you are a decent person, a person of integrity, you will probably make friends everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you'll get along with the majority of people around you. There will always be, you know, detractors. But you're not going to be in fights with everybody in the in the world. Honey. It's very, very cynical. Hi, Elaine. Thank you for coming in and the moderating. Mm. Did y'all see the, the show on last evening? It wasn't as bad as it could have been. <clears throat> I did go in there and attack that Miss Hottie Fly Monster because uh, of her little two-week... Uh, attack on me i want her to know what it what it feels like for someone to attack you unprovoked that's what it feels like why is he talking about my titty mm -hmm. same way you're talking about my drug my, my drug addiction 30 years ago and 20 years ago same thing right what y'all think how you doing sherry morrison mm -hmm. and tanya b Praise your Lori. TLCN3, you like that? You are my friend. You know what was the song I like? I just popped in my head about Patty. I used to like this song. How is it that two people who laugh together dream, dream together sometimes? That brings up the idea because people fall out does that mean they were never friends don't friends fall out that don't mean they're not friends but they mean they fall out sometimes they fall out permanently and sometimes they just they, they have a disagreement right don't y'all fall out with your hood you can be mad at him a few days you know some people say don't go to bed angry but sometimes you can't resist honey you say baby here's your stuff you're sleeping on the couch tonight, right? You can fall out with your sisters. Does that mean you're not your sister anymore? This cynical, uh, these words that people throw out, and I see that it is contagious because there were several people on that panel that's losing the exact same language of this person who they seem to respect for some reason. I don't understand it. The person who says the same shit over and over and over until he's drilled it into your brain. And now you hollering about ain't no friends on YouTube. If you don't have any friends on YouTube, honey, take responsibility for that. Say, use I statements. I, I'm a facilitator of, of a therapy group. And what we suggest to the people is use I statements. I don't have any friends on YouTube. I feel like they all hate me. I feel like if there's a if there's a, a coin in it, I'm gonna throw the ass under the bus. I am that way. It is my personality. 
I don't have any friends on YouTube. I don't have any friends on my block. I don't have any friends on my job because I can't keep a job. And it might be part of the reason why I can't keep a job is because I can't make friends or alliances on anywhere I go. There's always a problem. Perhaps it is because of this notion that I have that there are no friends on the job either. There are no friends anywhere. I'm not going to make the effort to be friendly with anybody. It could be part of the problem. Right? Cynicism. <clears throat> Don't you guys have, when you go to church, I assume most of us go to church or did or will. Don't you have friends there? People who you don't know anywhere else besides when you see them in church. But you've been going to the same church for 30 years. Right? You only know them at church, but they are certainly your friend. Here's my friend, Margaret, from church. Right? Is YouTube any different than that? <clears throat> It may have been a mistake, a mistake to call this the beef sector. Because people will get it, some people with shallow minds will believe that their only purpose here is to beef. You come here, you want to beef with people. You will find somebody to disagree with. I got news for you. If you're talking to a group of people this size, maybe I don't know how many people come over here. I have 20 over 20,000 people. So people do come over here. Right. Well, shit, it goes to Tina thought. We got to pick it back up. <laughs> if your worldview, your worldview is that uh, you have a cynical worldview and you're a miserable person and you're a person who only values material gain then I would say that for maybe for you, the statement does work perfectly. I have no friends. I would just suggest you use I statements. I don't have any friends on YouTube. Right? You have enemies on you. Surely you have enemies. You have people like me who can't stand you, who stand in opposition to almost everything you, you that you think, everything that you say. Any times a person finds you that they don't they can hardly agree with anything about you nothing you nothing you comes out of your mouth they can agree with you know i would not say that that is my friend right the definition said people who agree with you people who share common sensibilities shall we say okay y'all talk what's going on mm, what y'all think about this situation uncle tim did you ever meet Sylvester, nope. <laughs> Sylvester did his thing on these same uh, stomping grounds, however, and he was a part of Love Center Church, which was a church that my church was born out of. So a lot of the people there knew him. The people in the ministry knew him. You know, we're a liberal uh, city here in San Francisco. And so he knew a lot of the people that I knew. But when, when uh, Sylvester died, I was just arriving in California. Not California, I'm sorry. I was just arriving in San Francisco from L.A. So he was a big deal here in San Francisco because he was a local celebrity. We don't, it's not like L.A. has, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of singers and dancers and all people in entertainment. San Francisco is not quite like that. Yes, there are celebrities who live here, but they are far and in between. Sylvester was, was a rock star here in the Castro, the area where I live. But he was... Uh, gone by the time i got here i don't know if he was actually i got here in 93 right something like 32 years uh so his reign was already over never got a chance to meet him. but even if i did meet him man, you can meet anybody you can go up and shake the hand take a picture <laughs> i know him oh we go way back <laughs> uh uh the only people I knew, the only celebrities I knew was uh, Jermaine Stewart, because we lived together for a time in Hollywood. You know, you see people there. There's a lot of people around. You see them in the club and stuff like that. But I didn't know him. He's the only one I actually knew. I knew a, a, 
I went with a big designer at one point, fashion designer, not a costume, it was a costume designer. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother. Hi, non love, nay love. Mm -hmm. And Squinny and Mods. So, what do you think about the uh, situation with the animals, uh, Jay Wilson? I see that they're, they're you're, you're, you're they're discussing your relationship with your child now, right? Isn't the dog supposed to be, hasn't he always uh, worn the title of man's best friend? 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 So are we to say that uh, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no friends with, with, with animals, ain't no friends with animals? Well, most dog owners or pet owners would disagree with you, Jay Wilson. They would say, yes, that is my friend. Right. And if you step on his toe, I'm going to knock your ass out. Mama said, knock you out, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so maybe this dog that you have will teach you what it means to have a friend. Right. Your dog wants to protect you. And you you might have gotten him because you feel like you need protection. girl. <laughs> uh uh. Well, see, they're trying to redefine. Uh, they, they said, Tim, those are those aren't friends. Which ones are not friends? Uh, those aren't friends, just associates. No, I don't. I don't agree with that, Eugenia. You can have all different kinds of friends. They gave you six different definitions of friends in the dictionary, right? There's a, the, baby, stop, baby. I would say an associate would be somebody. Who I, I, I work with, I'm just casual with, baby. You're not acting very friendly right now. Okay. You ready to go? There's somebody in the hallway. An associate would be somebody that you barely know at work, but you work together. You have to do things together. You hand her the paper. She taking to the balls, that kind of thing like that. That would be an associate. But a person who you are actually uh, you feel affection for at the office, you're concerned about uh, concerned about them. You're happy when you see them. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy, there are some people you see and you are repulsed by seeing them. Right? You don't want to see them, honey. You can't stand them. You do it for because because that's how you pay your bills. There are certainly people there you like, I would I would assume. There are people in your church you like, I would assume. Y'all are list, by listening that letting that dumbass Jay Wilson teach y'all new language, child. This new cynical language, girl. Where is he coming up with? There are no friends on, on YouTube. There are no friends on what, what, what are you trying to make a new movement, Jay Wilson? We have the example of Mark Zuckerberg, who became one of the richest men in the world as a barely out of his out of his 20s. Right. On the notion of you can have friends. The Internet has changed a few things because we're in more places than we were. And you can have relationships in each one of those places. They even in the definition, they use social media as one of those places where you can be. Correct. If you go to the ball game and this other guy, you see, he always goes to the ball game. And you always sit in the same in the same area, right? He brings his kid, you bring your kid to the ball game, right? It maybe it's just say, well, that's just a, a associate, a acquaintance, or something like that, right? Except you've been doing it for fifteen years, girl. And then many times you'll go to the hot dog stand together, and you'll discuss the game because you're rooting for the same team. You have something in common. I would say that that would be my football stadium friend. What's this shit? Why gotta make everything so negative? No friends, no friends, no. I'm saying you only use this as as an excuse for you to be able to dog people out. That's why you say they're not that your friends. You owe them no alliance. I don't believe that. In the definition and the dictionary, the dictionary is suggesting that all of you guys who support this channel are my friends. It is a different 
definition of friendship, but it still falls under the word friend. Oh, the Ryder Lee, the rap. So are the Ryder Lee, are those not your friends? Do they not come over there and give you hundreds of dollars for no particular reason, girl? Right? Aren't you pumping them for your for your very existence? How do you telling them that they are not your friends? At the same time, you're telling them to give you the, give you their money. I don't understand it. You tell them how you don't care. I don't care about these people. I don't care about these people. Give me your money. Just give me your money. I'm only here for the coin. I'm only here for the money. Well, he says it right out of his mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those aren't friends. They are associates. You can have friends within the associates, honey. Are there no? Is there nobody, Eugenia, on your job that you even like? Do you have lunch with anybody? Is there anybody you can go and tell, honey, my husband is an asshole because you're feeling that way on that particular day? You're not going to come announce that over the intercom to everybody, girl. But surely there's somebody you talk to. Right? There are many people who say, listen, if you fire, if you fire that person, I'm going with him. That's a that's it on that's that's a friend, honey. You mean tell me if the person who I am closest to on my job, who I believe is a good person and does their work, and you got some asshole boss that's gonna fire that person, and you stand up in the crowd and you say, If he goes, I go. And there are several other hands that go up and say, No, if he goes, I go. I would say those are his friends. On the job. All right? I'm going out to play with my friends. I'm going out to play with my friends. Go out and play with your friends, Junior. It's a childish notion that uh, your, your friends are, 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 they used to call them play friends, right? You have friends that sleep over friends, all kind of friendships, right? All kind of people are, are, are touching and agreeing all over the damn place. All this negative, this, baby, will you stop? Stop. Excuse me. I have to get rid of one of my Come on, say goodbye. Want to say hello till you go to the dungeon? What do you want to do, friend? Get a bum over here. No, 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 no. Don't give me the puppy dog eyes. Don't give me the puppy dog eyes. Ugh. Look at my friend. You are my friend. My friend. <laughs> My friend, oh, I'm going to lock you up now because I <laughs> see your little face. Hold on, people. This is going to take a second so I lock my friend in the dungeon. Get a bum in there. Get a bum. Mm. Did y'all watch that, uh, that thing on yesterday? I guess Shelly put it together. I mean, it's just another another panel. They all got panels every day. I don't know what the big deal was, but some things, some attitudes came out. I see some people chose to be silent. They wouldn't say anything because they know they're wrong about everything, honey. And they, they don't really trust their ideas. Plus, they know that when they have an adversary present, that more, more, more than likely they're going to uh, end up in a screaming match again. He considered Tracy a friend. He considered a Tracy a friend until he threw her under the bus. Otherwise, he wouldn't get his panties in a bunch when she when she mentions him. Mm -hmm. No, he threw her away. They made up. It's it's topsy turvy now. They were getting along okay last night, mainly because he was shutting his goddamn mouth every time he opened his mouth. It's trouble, you know. But. Uh, he used her example. He, he gonna throw anybody under the bus, hey? If he was her friend, he would have went down there to the jailhouse and picked her up when he could have got her for fifty dollars down the street. Wouldn't be an hour, less than an hour of his time. So I would say that Wilson is nobody's friend. In other words, you can't trust him. Somebody tell you you ain't my friend. You're not my friend, girl. You ain't got to say it a thousand times, honey. You already say it now. I understand you. We see each other. 
we see each other honey i'm not your friend okay stay the fuck off my porch nigga mm. he the death that, that freak that tr that tree seed jay wilson thing is falling apart and you you can't maintain that she's seeing through the cracks and since he's so uh uh concerned about how much money he gets from everybody girl he might as well go ahead and on, jump on him both feet they can get their beef going again like they had before since he's just here beefing for dollars that's what he said there are people on here who i happen to like i know they fight dirty you know what i do if they're fighting dirty I, and if it's them to do with me or my community i don't watch it that's all i don't throw them away I can't tell people how to fight, honey. Mm -hmm. But I still say I like them. I enjoy their content. I think they're amusing people. I ain't got to now brand them. You're not my friend. You ain't my friend. Girl, nobody wants to be your damn friend. It's a natural thing that happens, Jay Wilson. It doesn't happen with you because you do not have respect for people. For people that you like or dislike, it doesn't make any difference, girl. You're always clinging on to one and saying their name over and over and over and over and over again, girl. Because you can't maintain no real friendships, girl. Anytime your crew consists of Vivian and Stomp Down, girl, look at the crew. Fair weather friends. Fair weather friends. You want to be somebody's friend, be friendly, you know? And it don't come down to a coin. Oh, you didn't give me a coin. You, girl, that ain't no damn friendship, John. I have friends in this world who I've never seen. We've been online friends for 20 plus years. <laughs> I love them dearly. We have been there for each other in some of the darkest times of our lives. It's real. I agree, Moonbeam's child. I agree. There are people on here, no matter what they say, child, I'm not going to flip on them. I'm not going to turn on them, right? Now, he looks for any opportunity to turn on anybody. I don't do that. If they're talking about faggots and they're in some argument with somebody and then they're using all this disparaging language concerning my community, just turn it off, right? That's what it is for me because I respect the person and I know the person's a decent person. But if someone's slinging, slinging uh, arrows at you, you're going to use bullets at them. That's just the way it works, honey. They do something I don't like, so they ain't got to do nothing that I like. Shit, they ain't living their life for me. <laughs> uh, uh Friends all over the damn place, child. Do you know even today, I've been out the drug world for 20 years, off dope for 20 years, right? I can walk on any street in San Francisco and people who I knew from the drug life 20 years ago still want to shake my hand. We can still share memories, right? They're not my enemies. Those were my friends at that time in my life, and I still like them. I still, if I can help them, I would, I would. right? I don't have people going the other way when they see me, Jay Wilson. <laughs> Squeenie is well taken care of, like a king, like a king. <laughs> My Squeenie eats chicken every day, honey. If I don't eat, Squeenie eats chicken. And got to be made the same day. He don't want no old chicken. <laughs> chicken, treats. Sometimes I spend more on the dog than I spend on myself. So see, I gotta go to uh, uh, Amazon and get these big bags of these treats, but he 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 won't touch the cheap stuff. See, I made a mistake. I should have just kept him on the cheap stuff. You know, the little carny treats. I think a dollar a bag or something like that. That's what my other dog used to eat. He didn't know no better. He never tasted anything else, right? But this squeamy dog then got sprung, right? Because I I would get him the best stuff, and now he won't eat anything else. <laughs> and if I put the chicken. If I put the chicken down for his dinner, if I don't put cheese on top, he, he won't eat it. He won't even go in the bathroom. That's where his bowl is. 
Okay, Squeamy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then he comes on the bed and immediately he turns his back to me, sits down, prompts down in front for the scratch for the next hour and a half. <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch. Squeamy. My fingers hurt, Squeamy. <laughs> uh-uh. It gives me pleasure to be good to my friend. They say he's man's best friend. <clears throat> She was in his live chat today, and they seem friendly, speaking on the not to another on another. So I'm guessing it was intrigued. Are okay, but that how long did that last? They were beefing one day before that, right? That thing is falling apart. I don't mean I don't mean to insult you or nothing, Tracy. You know I like you. I always have. I said this this woman makes me laugh. You know, and that's what it comes down to. And then she liked me, so I, therefore I like you. I like people who like me. Right. So uh, last night he chose to be quiet and he had instructed uh, the, the girl as Hutchison not to let anybody uh, argue or address him. You got to be protected to come on a panel. Then why are you coming on the panel? Anyway. But so he's nervous about that falling apart. Uh, he don't want her to get back up in that ass. Oh, those were some wonderful times. That was a great beef. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Is he only here for a coin? Jay Wilson don't mind. People come over here talking shit about him and cussing him out, calling him all kind of bitches and shit. He don't care. I'm getting a coin from it. I'm getting a coin from it. I mean, I was saying just last week that if it, if Jay Wilson was one person in the Bible, he would be Judas Iscariot. He would. He would trade the life of Christ for six pieces of silver. Anybody else? Right? That is his character. That's why he says there's no friends. Was, was Judas presented as a friend of Christ, of Jesus? He was his friend, right? He was in his, in his crowd, in, in his followers. But yet he traded them in for a few, few, few nickels and dimes. Or, excuse me, six pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. Is a character. <laughs> my dog is better than you. Linda, don't tell me my dog ain't no friend. Huh? You don't, you don't know what we've been through. Let me share my story with you. All the things. <laughs> Uh, uh the rainy nights and the lonely days. I buy beef jerky for my dogs. They like the sweet and spicy one. Okay, <laughs> you got to get them what they want, baby. You got to give the doggies, give it up. Give the doggies what they want. You, you're still so funny to me because uh, I live here by a dog park. This is a couple of blocks away, right? And when you see the dog early in the morning and you see the people talking to the dogs, right? And just by the dogs walking by, rubbing noses, the owner is smiling. I am smiling. All this gushy, 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 gushy. Every, the dogs are making all these people smile just by going and fetch the ball, right? And then the dog is... <laughs> <laughs> and they're communicating. They're communicating animal to human. But it is an amazing thing what they're able to do without word, without language, right? They're, uh, sometimes you'll see they have agencies where they'll bring dogs into uh, hospices. One right across the street. They bring dogs in there, right? Because they give the, pa the patients pleasure for whatever reason. I just want to touch his head. Sometimes people will come up to me. Can I just rub your dog? I'm just so so pet starved right now. I'm so pet starved. Oh, scoop, 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 scoop. Gooby, gooby, gooby. <laughs> he is my friend. Mm -hmm. Hi, Alfreda Gross. You saying hello to Tim and the young people? There are young people in here? All of y'all young people to me, probably. <laughs> uh, uh That was Zachary uh, Cortez. Yes, it is. I love that song. That was my song of, of last year. You don't know 
started singing at the age of five. Mama put me up there. I was so terrified. Uh-uh. Zachary. Mm. Uh -huh. People love to take care of their dogs. That's a major business. They got that damn, y'all complain about Whole Foods. Y'all need to go to Petco. Hmm. I said, what in the hell could possibly be in this bag that's worth $24, right? But those, that, those that's the major business. Little toys, you pay more for your dog toys than you pay for your human toys. People love to do it. Oh, he has to have, he has to have purified water. Oh, he only likes the purified water. <laughs> uh-uh. You owe the purple? Me too. Call it a blessing, baby. Not everybody can say that they're old. They say people with, with animals live longer. Mm, companionship. Uh, four years ago, I had cancer. I had liver cancer. They were successful. They were able to cut the cancer out without me going into chemo and all that. I was very fortunate. But at the same time, my dog, Jimmy Dog, which is another dog, he had cancer too. He had cancer. He had tumors all in his mouth and all that. But he was 15 years old. So soon after I got out of the hospital, he died. Right? I was still limping because they had cut me open. I had to limp down to the animal hospital and put him down. But, uh, you know, he, he had reached his expiration date. But I didn't make it. I believe it was something like five weeks. After four weeks, I said, well, let me just look at the dogs online. They had the SPCA online, right? And I just knew I wanted the boy dog, and I wanted him to be young. I wanted to get the full life of the animal. I don't want it to be an older dog because you, you have to go through all the, the pain of suffering and the expense of trying to take care of an older dog. So I looked in the, uh, uh, on the, online, and in five weeks, I had a new dog. I was so used to having that face to, to love me when I come home. Jump on my leg, give me sugar, kisses. <laughs> Unconditional love. They're a lot uh, uh, easier to get along with than some of you hardheads. I'll tell you that. Put it like that, honey. It's an absolute blessing. Mm -hmm. When your mind is not always on yourself and your 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 issues, honey, that drive you crazy. I think a, a, one of the good things about a pet is if you're able to take your mind off of yourself for a few minutes, every few hours, you know, to put to to have to uh, care for something else. Uh, I think babies are, are similar. I, I can't hardly walk past a baby without laughing, right? <laughs> it's so cute. But the parents, there is nothing more valuable to the parent than the child. The child can't talk to them, right? They communicate without words. Kick those feet. Come on, change time. <laughs> It's all kind of relationships in the world, honey. It's all kind of love in the world, all kind of respect in the world. And uh, people who don't have any of these things, they're just focusing on getting money. It's a sad way to live, really. It's pretty, pretty pathetic. I was just watching, uh, I guess, the, the girl. Congratulations to the Garner. What's her name? The Garner athlete. I don't know. I guess I got a blank on her first name. Anyway, she's coming home. I guess they sold her getting on the plane. What's uh, Garner's name? The athlete that was in Russia. She got out this morning. Brittany. Okay. Brittany Gardner. Congratulations to her and her family that she got out of there in about nine months. That's good. She ne should have never been in there. Period. Here, we're, we're making marijuana legal in damn near every state in America. And they still locking people up for years for just having it. Anyway. Good for her, though. I'm glad to see that worked out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. My Doberman has his own YouTube videos. Oh, I watched those two, Alfred the Gross. You know my favorite ones with the babies? 
I like the ones with the babies and the dog and the puppies. <laughs> Cause in a way they're on the same level, right? <laughs> and the babies are they're so they're so happy with the dog, right? <laughs> they're almost like two little puppies. I, I watch those all the time. Mm. She was in a different country, though. Still, it's just marijuana, honey. Marijuana ain't shit. Uh, they asked me on that thing last night, was marijuana the same thing as meth? I said, girl, who told you that? I guess one of these people's boyfriends or something said some stupid as that, child. Marijuana is like having a glass of wine. It's just a personal choice. But they tortured, tormented us for years and years and years. People still in prison now because they had marijuana on them, child. Right? Because the government gets to decide what's right and what's wrong. There was a time when alcohol was wrong. Throw your ass in jail for that. Now we can't control it. We can't control it. We can't control it. Therefore, we make it real and then uh, make it legal and, and, and tax it. Only thing about that, that weed, though, it will make you lazy, I and mean, you'll just be sitting around. Everything just seems so great, man. Wow, <laughs> that was my first addiction, as uh, was weed. But uh, uh, eventually, it wasn't enough. That doesn't mean it's a gateway to other people. Most people don't become drug addicts because they smoke weed. Your, your dogs have an entire house? Oh, my goodness. The purple, the purple one. You know, the rich people, they have uh, they, they have six bedrooms. One of them is for the dogs. They have a bathtub in there for the dogs. <laughs> they have the chef prepare steak for the dogs. I enjoy giving mine meat because they, they enjoy it so much. It's like before it was just like, I mean, Obviously, if you have a, a, a dog or an animal, <clears throat> if you feed them dog food right from the beginning, in other words, if they've never tasted even uh, uh, human food, they, they don't have any longing to have human food, right? But I made the mistake. And I'll tell you, I, I know I told the story a couple of years ago. I'll tell you again how my, my Jimmy dog, he was the dog before this, how he got hooked on chicken and messed me up because now I feed all my dogs chicken, right? Or both of them. I was living in this place about six blocks from here, but I had four roommates. Let me see. There were four roommates on the first floor, four roommates on the second floor. There's eight people in the house all together. But we lived in a flat, and it was right next to a Catholic church, right? And so the Catholic church, they were having a, a big event. But when the event was over, they had pans and pans of chicken broiled chicken right and so the nuns they came over to the neighbor we were friendly we lived on the same block and say listen you guys want some chicken it's well prepared and like this and uh they gave us these big pans of chicken right there had to be at least five or six chickens in each pan so i said i got all this chicken here and obviously nobody even though we were eight people in the house all together i gave one to downstairs we ain't gonna eat all this chicken. So I started giving it to the dogs. Well, guess what happened? At the end of that period, I think it lasted a couple of weeks, week and a half, certainly. The dog would not eat dog food anymore because he was so used to eating the chicken. He got sprung on chicken. And that's how my Jimmy dog, he wouldn't eat anything else. And he could starve himself until you got it right. Come in, you come in here, come correct. Bring me my chicken. <laughs> then he got sprung on the cheese on top because I know all this shit is not normal on the cheese on top because one day he wasn't eating and so for me to motivate him to eat I put a little cheese on top now I gotta continually put cheese on top and eventually he won't eat it if it don't got cheese on it this one's the same way you're missing something excuse me and I'll look and I'll say oh shit I forgot the cheese <laughs> My fur baby is spoiled. Yes, he's spoiled. I love spoiling my child. It's only the two of us, you know. 
In my book, uh, Love and Gospel Music, the original novel, I had my dog. I think I named him Jimmy Dog, but he had a heavenly name too. He was a reincarnated dog. We are in heaven together, right? And he was telling me, uh, <laughs> he was telling me how I was a good owner. I had always been nice. I said, "Oh, I'm so sorry, Rasmus." Ra Rasmus was his heavenly name. I'm sorry, Rasmus. I didn't know. I didn't know. I would have fed you better. I would have walked you more. Oh no, knock it off, Dad. You were good. You were a good dad. Listen, I've been a cat. I've been a goldfish. <laughs> So the animal is in heaven with me, child. When <laughs> we are talking man to man or spirit to spirit. Mm. Well, it's good. It's, it's fun to spoil them. You know, it's fun to spoil them. Y'all know good and damn well. Y'all don't got to be out there buying them them uh, fancy $1,500 bicycles. You, don't, you do it because you love your children and you want to make them happy. Right? There's no reason why they should get a new car when they're when they're 18 years old. No, you do it because you love them, honey. It gives you pleasure to spoil them. Like in the Bible say, if your child asks you for bread, will you give him a stone? <laughs> it pleasure, it gives you pleasure, just as your God in heaven gives you pleasure to give to you. Mm -hmm. God has been good to me. Right? Same principle. The French Bulldogs, they say they're stealing the French Bulldogs. I didn't even know those were so expensive, but apparently those are one of the most expensive dogs right now. They're kidnapping the French Bulldogs. Who is that? Oh, thank you, C. Cantrell. C. Cantrell. Oh, C. Cantrell. Mr. Tim, your apartment is filthy. Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My apartment filthy? Now, that's one thing I've never suffered from, baby. Ain't There ain't nothing in my house dirty. I can't stand it. I can't deal with it, girl. One thing I do do is clean my house. <laughs> they can't stand that, girl. They don't even want you to know how to put a picture on the wall. They say you got to get a degree and you got to have a portfolio <laughs> where you put that picture on there. I say, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Kind of done, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you for super chat. I appreciate you. She can trail. Let me see. The bulldog videos. Okay. French bull. We have some of those in the park. Though that little smash note. I like those. I like their little bodies. <laughs> He's all muscle bound. Even though they're little things, they still muscle bound like a big bulldog. I think when I get to be uh, old and senile, I'm going to go back to watching cartoons because I, I let the dog watch cartoons when I'm not here, right? I always turn the cartoon channel on. So I figure, well, it's a whole lot of dogs in there. I don't know if he watches them or not, but in my mind, he watches the, the cartoons. But I say, these, these things are, are wonderful, and they're all about, ant most of them are animals. They got more animals in the cartoons than they got people, right? I said, I'll probably switch back over to watching cartoons. <laughs> When the mind starts to go, baby, and I revert back to being a child, honey. But they always had the little bulldog. <laughs> Muscle bound himself. <laughs> What's the other one? What's the big bulldog? He's a big old ugly thing with the lips all down. <laughs> so ugly and cute. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone from French, German, Shepherd, Doberman, French, German, Derm, Doberman. Do I know what French and German? I don't know if I know the Doberman. I can tell the difference. Doberman back uh, in the 70s was a very popular dog. I don't see as many. And also people have different dogs for different reasons. There are some people, they get little dogs like this for companionship. But a lot of dogs, I mean, they do a great service to homeowners, you know, you try to come to somebody's house, you hear the dogs. Well, that's a better alarm than the actual alarm because you got to wait for the police to get there. People ain't walking up on you. You got no great about a dog in the house, right? Or in the yard. So they provide a service. Some, some people like big animals, but they also take care of the family. They are the security dog. <clears throat> they call my dog a, a guard dog, but he's only a guard dog because 
he was supposed to alert the lions. That was their job in Tibet. They were guard dog. You'll see how every can't nobody walk through my hawk. Every time the, the dog starts barking for no reason, it's always because someone is either getting off the elevator or someone is walking down the hall. It is in his nature. A lot of dogs' nature, but particularly in this particular breed, they were they were born and bred in they were bred in Tibet. Their their job was to guard the monasteries. In other words, there could be a hundred people in the monastery, but the dog would alert to if there was a stranger in the monastery. So his job was then to alert the lions. <laughs> so the lions come eat their ass up. Uh, uh, pugs have smashed face. <laughs> uh, uh, I think they're all great. There's so many different kinds. So many different breeds of, of uh, dogs. And humans, you know. Shaquilla, have I ever held a teaching on novel or book writing? I'm interested. You know, when I first came on to YouTube, I only came on to promote my writing and my books, and I was much more interested in that. But uh, it wasn't a big following. People are not reading and writing, I, I, I don't think, as much as they used to. But there are certainly uh, channels on YouTube, tutorials from other writers, people who tell you about, uh, you know, composition, how you start a novel, how to build suspense and all that kind of thing. And I watched a lot of those when I was writing my first book because I didn't know anything about it. Right. But for me, I don't consider myself an expert. Yeah, I can't, I, I, it's, it's in my in my vocabulary or the way I speak to talk about uh, about writing. You know, you got to get an audience. This audience here in the beef sector is really not about uh, instructional uh, book writing or anything else. You know, they got pages for everything, though. Yeah, there are plenty of experts out there, though. I just love writing, though. But my big advice about writing is you just got to write. You just got to get up and start. After you start, you'll be amazed at how easy it is, right? But the main thing is you have to stay as close as you can, in my opinion, to writing every day. Now, everybody can accomplish that. Some people have jobs that keep them busy for 12 hours a day right? Plus they're raising two or three kids. But as close as you can to every day where the story stays fresh. I lost that rhythm for a minute and I'm trying to pick it back up again where I'm writing every day. But uh, yeah, it's addictive as well. You get into the stories. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm sure I have something on writing in my old videos. Put Timothy Blaine on writing and you'll find that. I started off very insecure though about the way I spoke and so forth. I seem to have gotten pretty comfortable now. But when you first start YouTube, you know, you're 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 unsteady. Uh I know I didn't read publicly well, kind of things like that. But after I got uh uh into here, I, I didn't care how I talk. There are people on here to stutter. There are people on here to talk real fast, so fast you can't hear them. And they're all just people. This is how I talk, this is how I speak, you know. Uh, I agree. It's difficult to get back if allowed to become distracted. Right. It's the same kind of principle. Is it Shinquilla? As if you go to the gym. Now, I went to the gym every other day for 15 years. Right. Now, when COVID came and I, I, I volunteered at the same place in the Castro for about 17 years, all these things that I picked up when I got clean. When, uh, when the pandemic came and I lost the rhythm of going to the gym, never even cursed me to go back. I was, it's so far away now. As a matter of fact, when I was going for those 15 years, if I missed like two days, it's like I had to start all over again, right? You have to be consistent. Same principle. Mm -hmm. You're writing on something, Shinquilla? Yeah. Don't throw anything away. Don't give up on it. Just come, you'll come back to it. Pick it up where you left it off, honey. Mm -hmm. But writing is still satisfied. It still has personal satisfaction for you, even if you don't be you don't become 
you know, Jackie Collins or somebody, <clears throat> it's still beneficial to be creative, to write your stories. I think my books are great. I, I, I be con I'm concerned. I say, but damn, can I do that again? I went through this every single time, right? But the great thing about writing is it's not like when you're talking, you're talking, whatever's out of your mouth is, is out there, right? But when you're writing, you can go over it and over it and over it until you fine tune it to what the way you want it to sound, the way you want it to communicate. And I use a speaking application because of primarily because of my dyslexia, where I write a page, then I copy it into a, a reader. It reads it back to me. And when it reads it back to me, I can hear any error, any inconsistency, anything that's wrong about the story. I can hear it. Right. And make the corrections right there. So, uh, yeah, I, I just say get word network and get to it. You'll find your rhythm. All right, you wonderful darlings. Thank y'all for coming in. We started off talking about free and shit. Don't believe the honey. Don't believe the hype. Ain't no friends on YouTube. Ain't no friends on. What, what are you talking about, child? Every application in this damn town, we all have got. I mean. The word friend is associated with Facebook, but we all have. You are my supporters right now. A supporter, by definition of the dictionary, girl, is a friend, right? A friend of the opera. You're a friend at your church. You have all kinds of friends and friendships. Don't make it a negative thing where you can't trust nobody. All you want to do is come and get my, get my coin. I'm going to get my money. I'm just here for the money. I'm just here for the money. I ain't no friends. I ain't no girl. Who are you trying to, to, to convince this thing? Because you can't make a friend. Why? Because you're not a friend. Why? Because you have no respect for people. Okay, people. And that will be our benediction. Y'all have a wonderful today. Thursday. Friday's almost here. Only one more to go, baby. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Later.